Hello, hello, stamping friends. I am Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. So today I'm going to make a couple of cards and I'm going to be using the Campology stamp set, which is in the annual catalog. This is great for masculine cards. I'm also anyone who loves nature and loves the outdoors. And today I'm kind of thinking masculine, but I think these cards would work for, for anyone that likes nature and being outside. So we have Explore, Happy Trails, You Brighten My Path, Enjoy Today, binocular, Binoculars, A Lantern, A Tent, Trees, and A Cup, and A, and a Coffee Pot. So I'm going to lay this aside. We're also going to be using an embossing folder, and this is the Timber 3D embossing folder, which is in the annual catalog. Layering circle dies, which is also in the uh, annual catalog. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, the ones that are uh, that have this little bit of stitchery around the the edge, and the two largest ones. And then I have chosen for my designer series paper. Uh, this is in the mini catalog, Rustic Harvest. I didn't check. This may already be sold out, but you can use any designer series paper. So for the first card, I'm going to use this designer series paper. And then I'm going to be using, um, for the second card, another um, pattern from the same uh, pack of designer series papers. So let me show you the card. This is the, the first card. You brighten my path. And I'm going to bring in my card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to give that a good crease. Then you'll need a layer of basic black five and a quarter by four and designer series paper um, five by three and three quarters. But then I need a black circle and I also need a basic white circle from the layering circle dies. So I'm going to bring in uh, the largest one and because you're not going to see the middle of my layer, I'm going to go ahead and save some cardstock and I'm going to cut out my circle die from the middle of my basic black cardstock. And I've already done that. So here I have my basic black circle and this is the layer that we're going to use also. So there isn't any waste. And then I already took basic white and I die cut the smaller uh, circle out. So now let's just lay this aside and let's go ahead and do some stamping. You'll need basic black and this is a two by a three fourths and basic white and this is a half inch by one and three fourths. And I'm going to bring in, you brighten my path. Um, I don't have my label on here correctly. It's kind of a, I don't know if you can see or not, but my label goes up above my uh, stamp. So we will try to get this to stamp evenly. So I'm bringing in uh, Pear Pizzazz, had to think for a second, Pear Pizzazz, and we'll ink this up. And if I don't get this exactly right, I do have one ready to go. There we go. It's not too bad. And then this will layer right on top of here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I just noticed my other one that I stamped was in real red 
and I used pear pizzazz for my sample card, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use the real red for this card. So we'll change it up a little bit. So I'm just going to add some adhesive. And then we will center this. So this is a quick and easy card. If I can get this lined up, it'll be quick and easy, right? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we are going to attach our designer series paper on our layer. So I am going to, um, I'm going to add my liquid glue around the outside edges of my designer series paper since I have that layering circle in the middle. And then I'll place that right on top and you won't even see that I die cut the circle out. And then we're going to add now more adhesive and now we can go ahead and put our adhesive in the middle and around the edge. Bring in our card base. And line that up. And we're going to stamp on our small circle. And I'm going to be using Tuxedo Black. I'm going to bring in the lantern. So I'll ink this up. And I think I'm going to put this one right in the middle. Now the other one I put it off to the to the left. But I'm going to put this one in the middle. And then I'm going to bring in our timber 3D embossing. And I'm going to place this in here. Now on my sample card, the timber is going across, but I think I want the lines going down this time. So on your 3D embossing folder, you can kind of look and see. So you can either put it in this way, and then the lines will be going across. But I think this time I'm going to turn my basic white circle this way. And then the lines will be going down this way, just for a different look. Okay, let me go and run this through the cut and emboss machine. And here we go. So I like that. So we're going to go ahead and attach our basic white circle to our basic black. Just going to add some adhesive. You can use your adhesive of choice. So we'll line this up, turn that over, bring in some dimensionals, and we're going to pop this up on our card. I've added dimensionals, taking the backings off, bring in our card, and I'm going to place this, on this card I'm going to place it kind of in the middle. The other card I placed it over to the left, but I'm going to add my... Uh, my sentiment in a different place. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit from the center. So I'll have a little more space up here than I do down here. And I'm putting it in the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop up my sentiment. You brighten my path. I'm going to stick Put that right up here in the on the right of the card, and you can most certainly um, use some Stampin' Blends 
some colored pencils, some markers, and color in your lantern that will kind of make it like make it shine. I'm going to bring in rustic metallic and butterflies. And this is when I wish I had your help today because I'm not sure whether I want to add butterflies or the rustic metallic. But I think I'm going to add the butterflies since I added the rustic metallic gems on the first card just to be a little bit different. Let's see. We would take, bring in the, my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the spatula. I think that will bring this up a little bit more. I'm going to place one right there. And let's place one right here. And we'll bring So here is our first card. You've brightened my path. And here is our sample card. So basically it's similar. I just move the circle over to the left. In today's card, I put it in the middle. And my sentiment is right here on the layering circle. And where here I have it up in the corner. Um, so again, you can just change things up just a little bit and get an entire, entirely a different look. So now let's go ahead and make our second card. My second card, I'm going to be using Shaded Spruce and Pear Pizzazz ink. I'm also going to be using Basic Gray on this card. And I've chosen... A different designer series paper and this is cut as a, at the um, at the same measurements as the first card which is five by three and three-fourths so I'm going to start with my lighter color my pear pizzazz I don't know why every time I say that it doesn't sound like it's like it's right but it is pear pizzazz and then I'm going to Go ahead and use my Stampin' brushes and I'm going to pick up some ink and then I'm just going to add that to the leaves. And I'm going to start off Now you could also use your uh, Stampin' Blends, but using this brush is quick and easy. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer. Now I tried just using the shaded spruce by itself and it was a little bit bright and didn't even, didn't really look like, um, it was just a little bit too bright. Now the shaded spruce will brighten this up, but the pear pizzazz will help tone down the shaded spruce. And of course you could just use the pear pizzazz. And you could just use this on your card and not add uh, any more color if you wanted to. But we're going to go ahead and bring in the shaded spruce and I'm changing my brush. Pick up some ink. I'm going to start off. And I'm not worried that I need to have it all the same like all the leaves 
exactly the same amount of ink on each one because it's going to look okay if some of the leaves are a little bit darker and some are a little bit lighter because that's kind of how leaves are, right? So I think that is just fine. Close up my ink. I've already got ink in my fingers. You don't need any more. And let me show you the card. So here is the card using the layer that we added pear pizzazz and shaded spruce. Here I did not put any backing on my, uh, I just used the, the basic white and I stamped it in basic gray, the lantern. Uh, you most certainly could add a basic black layer and circle behind there. And then I decided to use Happy Birthday from another set and stamp that to make this a birthday card. And I stamped it in Shaded Spruce. And I used the classic matte dots, the gray. This comes in white, cream, and gray. And then I also used some ribbon. I will send this to a guy I have in mind, and, but I think uh, this is even evergreen, but I think it worked fine on this card. And by just wrapping it around the basic black and the designer series paper, uh, I don't, you know, I don't think it, uh, I mean, I think it will, will pass just fine for a masculine card. So here are the three cards today. This is my sample. This is the card we made together with the butterflies. And then this card is the one where we used our Stampin' Blend brushes and added some color to the designer series paper. So let me know which card you like the best. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow my channel and it helps me to bring, to be able to bring uh, videos to you. Again, I am Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. I appreciate you watching. Thank you and have a blessed day.